everybody welcome back to the craft room i am so glad that you're here i am going to share with you an update on my granny squares i still have granny squares to make for the project that i'm working on but i have made some progress since the last time i shared them with you if you remember i believe i showed you four six i had three of this color right here which this is what i have left this is an I Love This Yarn. I do not know the colorway on it, but I really like it. And then the other one that I had was using was this one. This is what I have left. This is the remainder of, I believe it's called Cityscape. But I put a black border around them, the squares that I had finished, that I showed you. And then I also made another square. And I have some more squares of this color to make. But this is some that I got for Christmas. This is a Red Heart Super Saver, Super Saver Monet, or Monette, or however you want to say it. That's what it looks like. I love this yarn. It's really pretty. And if you remember, it is the yarn that I made my mermaid bag with. So I will show you that one last, but I want to start with the other ones. These, this, and I like I said, I do still have tails on these, so disregard that. But this is the two of the Cityscape with the black border. I think that's really pretty I like that a lot here is the other one and then the other color whatever it is with the black border <laughs> they look really beautiful oh my goodness I love these so similar but so different and they will look so much better once the tails are missing once I get them all sewn in and taken care of so there's that one, and I did make a complete um, square with the Monet. I think it is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Love it. Very pretty. So yeah, I think these three colors will go together very well. I don't think I'll be adding any more colors to this. But here is my current, come on, get up there, current color scheme that I am working with. There we go. I think they are very pretty. And yeah, I think you will really like what I am making. I'm still not going to tell you what I'm making, but you can continue to guess. You can put your guesses down in the description box below. Not description box. That's where I put my stuff. You can put your guesses down in the comments below. I got a few guesses on my last video. Keep guessing, which I haven't answered any of those questions or I don't think I've acknowledged very many of those either. But, um, yeah, keep guessing. Hopefully, I will be done with this before too long. <laughs> Hopefully. But there's other things, of course, it needs to be done. So that's what I'm doing in my spare time is working on granny squares. And I have a book up here. Let me go grab it, and I will be right back. showed this to you before uh, this is a book that was given to me a few years back it's the great granny crochet book it's put out by who's it put out by the American School of Needlework I guess but I thought about going through this because I don't know for some reason I'm really liking the idea of granny squares at the moment so I thought about going through this and seeing about possibly making some granny square items They've got afghans and clothing and toys. Ooh, what's this? Huh. <laughs> Something from the previous owner that they left in there. Nothing really important. But like I said, they got afghans and toys and clothing. Just all kinds of stuff. Here's, I'll show you some examples. But all these are probably all over the internet anyway. There's some of the Christmas grannies. Mm. 
Here's an example of some of the clothing. Toys. Oh, here's a couple of the Afghans. Here's a toy. So yeah, I thought I would I would go through this book and maybe find some simple little granny square project. Maybe. No guarantees, but I'm gonna stick it in my bag to thumb through. But maybe find something to create from that book. So that's all that I have for you today. I want to thank you for joining me here in the craft room. It's a wee bit chilly. It's 48 degrees here in my craft room. I'm ready to go to a warmer room and warm up. Yes, I do have a heater. Yes, I could turn it on. But I didn't plan on being in here that long. Just long enough to show you my project and that I have that I'm working on. I think I'll grab some more yarn just because. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining me and I will see you right back here for my next video.